Welcome to another video about SharePoint. Today I want to show you how you can build a custom RSS feed web part for SharePoint reusing the out-of-the-box news web part. So in this video I will show you how I've built this web part here that brings information from three different sources directly into SharePoint and display them not only on the home site inside of SharePoint but also on the SharePoint mobile app. The idea behind this was to keep track with everything that is being published on the tech community blogs about SharePoint, Microsoft Teams and Microsoft 365 and bring that to a place where I go every single day to keep up to date with the latest posts. SharePoint has an RSS feed integration but the look of it is not the best one and it's not integrated with the home site and the SharePoint mobile app so I've decided to build my custom solution reusing what is already included in the product. To build this solution I used SharePoint and Power Automate and took advantage of the news link that exists inside of SharePoint. So let's see how everything was built before we jump into the final result. On Power Automate I had to create three different flows, each one of them connected to the RSS feed of each one of the blocks. So the trigger action is when a feed item is published and to do this you will need the RSS link to the blog or to the site that you want to post inside of SharePoint. After it I'm using this new feature HTML to text that removes all the HTML from the summary of the post and the last step is the send an HTTP request to SharePoint. This is using the API that Microsoft uses when you create a news link on SharePoint. I have a blog post explaining how to create news links programmatically that I'm linking in the description of this video. And basically here what I'm saying is that whenever a feed item is published, please create a new news link on SharePoint and news link on SharePoint will behave as SharePoint news. So this is connected to the site where I want the feed to be published. The method is a post and this is the URL for the endpoint. All of this I got from the developer tools when I created manually a news link and the body includes the banner image, the title, the description. Quick note about the banner image URL. This integration with the RSS feed in the Power Automate does not bring you, so I'm adding a custom logo for each one of the individual blocks, so this way I can easily identify where the feed uh, is coming from. Then on SharePoint I've created three different sites one for each feed, one for Microsoft 365, another one for SharePoint and another one for Teams. These sites are displaying the feeds that are specifically related with this topic. The idea is to reuse the sites to store more content, but for now they are just displaying the news. Then in my own site what I did was create a new SharePoint web part and in this web part I've selected just the three sites and by doing that I'm getting the feeds from the three blogs inside of SharePoint and I'm reusing what Microsoft provides by default. If you are not familiar with this web part it's really simple to use. The only thing you have to do is go to the properties in the new source, select, select sites and then pick the sites from where you want to display the news. In here what I'm selecting are the three sites where my flows are posting the news links from the RSS feed. Hope you like this video, hope this inspired you to achieve more on SharePoint and if you want to implement something like this on your site check out the blog post where you will find step-by-step -step instructions on how to implement this. Bye-bye!